Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Connect 360 Presents Group Therapy. I am King Bear in the building. Michelle K. And I am the truth seeker. And ladies and gentlemen, we got a brand new thing for you, Group Therapy. This is a show where we're going to get together and we're going to talk about hard-hitting topics, some, some real deep stuff. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So you guys ready to get into it? Yes. All right. We ain't going to hold you. Without further ado, let's get to it. One thing we're talking about with leaders is if you go to group therapy, and this is something that I emphasize, no two group leaders are necessarily going to lead group in the same way. All right. Truth. Michelle K., how you guys doing? Y'all all right? Definitely. All right. So today we're going to be discussing scientific versus holistic medicines. All right. So I kind of want to know what you guys think about it. What's your take on it? And uh, where do you stand either either side of it or do you have an opinion on it? So, um, you know, by all means, whoever wants to start first, y'all go ahead and, and rock with it. What I do you think? Let the ladies speak first. You know, okay. The ladies first. So then, you know, let me let me bring it to your world. Okay. So, you know, some could consider the use of a certain herbal <laughs> influence as a medicine. You know, and I'm talking about the use of say marijuana you know and you know the scientific counterpart would be uh i guess it would would kind of be a psychosomatic or things of that nature something that alters your mind state all right um just from your your standpoint would you consider um first of all would you consider marijuana a drug like uh i guess america would consider it no mm -hmm. And why wouldn't you? What, what would be the difference of it? Because I don't see it, it has that big of a side effect. Like okay. um, pills and uh, heroin, all them other little drugs out there. You know, mm -hmm. those are more, we can be addictive, but it doesn't have that, um, how can I say it? It just doesn't have that, um, I don't know, I can't think of the word, but. It doesn't alter things as much as I would say with the worst kind of drugs. Okay. All right. So what does it do for you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hypothetically, if if you partake, what do you think it would do? Okay. Let's let's go there. Then. Okay. If people the people do that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It just relaxes you. Just put you. You don't think about a lot of stuff. You just you just be more laid back. More, you know. I mean, it depends on what you want to think about. You can be focused on that, or you don't think at all. You know, but it just feels good. Okay. All right, Truth. What you thinking over there? So, yeah. So this is the topic that I love to talk about. Oh, oh. <laughs> do tell. One of the biggest topics that is very uh, controversial in the world. So, and um, so holistic versus uh, conventional medicine or scientific, yeah, scientific, scientific conventional medicine. Right. So you know, I always say holistic is is going back to God's nature. You know, the nature of, of, of whatever we call it mystically. You know, the Most High God superpower that you know we live under in this in this planet i mean in this in the on this planet i should say we see that things naturally grow in its element like cannabis you know hemp marijuana and that would be category as a um, drug only if it's used in a different substance besides boiling it or just popping it in your mouth eating it like any other herb so okay. some you know, uh, the medical administration would look at it as as such, versus concentrated or in the in the um, you know in the science medicine that is transformed in a lab to 
treat symptoms that we all go through, you know, medically, um, they would consider that as con as a controlled substance versus non-controlled, where um, it's so under under in in the, in the black market, like marijuana or or hemp. But both, to me, are helpful in society. At one time, you know, growing up, I mean, I, I've, I've tried, of course, you know, allegedly, <laughs> you know, in different <laughs> methods. Because I come from a, a household that is, is people from the island, Jamaicans. Yeah, okay. So, you know, it's used, it's used as tea, it's used as a scrubbing device when people get, you know, um, they call it bites. You get some chiggers or, uh, or mosquito bites in the, in, the, in, the, in the islands. I didn't grow up in the islands. You know, I grew up in New York and in the city, you know, but my family still hold the traditions of using um, certain herbs. I wouldn't say that my mother and my father advocate using it, you know, um, medicinally. Um, they didn't. And they never really brought it in the house like that as a tea medicine, but we knew it as that. So, but I've tried it as a tea. And prior to that, you know, I tried it as you know, wacky tobacco, you want to call it, you know, whatever they want to call it. Today. That is. But <laughs> <laughs> medicinally, no, but um. But uh, then let me but, let me ask you. But, oh, okay, no, no, no. I'm I'm just kind of sure. bring it in for a quick sure. second. So, would you, would you, would you consider the herbal ones, um, or the holistic things? Okay. Um. Some may argue that they stop they stop being a natural substance or a natural herb once you alter the way that they are to suit you. In right. other words, if it's marijuana, so to speak, right. it's fine as long as it's a plant. But once you have to do something to that plant, right. it's no longer considered natural. Including, some would say, uh, I'm just playing devil's advocate here, but some would say, including burning is changing the the chemical the the chemical state of it or the the state of it because growing it it doesn't grow burnt. Sure. So you're altering the state of it to achieve an effect. Mm -hmm. So. So uh, some would argue, how is that different than modern science? Because they're basically taking chemicals, right. mixing chemicals to achieve an effect. You're so when, is, would that be the same thing, or is that when you say changing the state, the state, one chemical, the state. Uh, from from it being eaten raw versus burning it dry? Yeah. Okay. I got you. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So if it's a plant and it's growing right. and you pluck the plant and first if you dry it now it's no longer growing and it's no longer a vibrant thing you're literally changing it a state of being a live vibrant thing to now it's dead and drying and now you alter the complete state of it to burn it so that means they so have now it's okay, being yeah. no 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 go ahead, go ahead. i was going to say gonna they say. should stop burning um incense don't create no more incense because that's what it is dried you know, yeah. herbs and essence that they put together on a stick to burn. Don't 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 make any more tea bags. You know, yeah. don't 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 dry the leaves and, 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 and drink it anymore, right? If they really want to categorize that burning sensation of marijuana specifically. Okay. Because if you want to talk about altering changing, you got chocolate tie, purple tie, I can start naming them, you know what I mean? Uh Sticky icky on the streets, what they call it, whatever, whatever, whatever type of brand we call it. You know what I mean? Those were different strands that were cloned, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And they were they were built they were they were um, almost uh, mechanically designed to have a yeah, specific to have a altered potency. effect or a different potency, right. right? Right. So, I mean, it's being altered, so it's not in its natural form anymore. If you want to say if it's not in its original form versus natural. So what what's what where's the line that we draw as a, in a society, you know, if you're gonna run a society say that you can use this recreational, but this over here, you can't. Um I think the same thing with smoking cigarettes. I mean mm -hmm. before it was illegal to do it, but certain people had, you know, 
a, 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 a political hold or they had it growing in their society, you know, where they could have made more money in it if they start selling it. So they, they created a, 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 a laws to ban it at a, at a certain time and era in the U.S. Just like liquor. I mean, that, that's a different uh, type of substance. But I'm saying, in general, when it comes to uh, marijuana, you know, or hemp, or, um, you know, um, the other names they use for it, ganja, or, mm -hmm. you know, those substances, to me, they just have a different chemical base to each strand that makes it different. Um, how you use it, I think we should be more educated on it before it, it's just widely used, just like our old ancestral, you know, medicine men and, and, and people who still live in today's world in Africa or in the West Indies or in the Pacific Islands, they still use these herbs actively today, but they might use it in a different method, mm -hmm. um, the way they extract, you know, the potency from it. But and to me, I think it's more dangerous the way they're isolating medicine in the medical field, in the medical world, you know, to give us treatments because it's, it's, it becomes more even more dangerous if you overdose on certain medical uh, uh, over-the-counter drugs that we take regularly, uh, you know, and, 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 and say that those are more better than or they more safer than, you know, open uh, herbs that we smoke or, or, or eat that are, are, are not considered to be um, mainstream drugs, uh, in my opinion, because uh, you can overdose on um, aspirin, you know what I mean, uh, Tylenol, it, it, or it could damage certain or, or organs over time if we keep overdoing certain, popping certain pills, as they say. Well, um, and just to highlight on that, one thing that I've, I've come to realize and if you notice, um, something about us as human beings, there is nothing on this planet that we can consume an abundance of and it not be dangerous to us. Absolutely nothing. Like too much air can kill us. Too much water can drown us. There's there's absolutely nothing. Because one, you know, it, and that would be another subject for another time, but we're really not made for this earth. You know, we all the other animals live in a harmonious nature in it and we are not built for it sure. we can't be in the extreme heat without creating cover we can't be in the extreme cold without creating shelter we're just not built to be on this planet it just best suits our genetic makeup but um what about when it comes to natural um natural holistic type medicines that alter your mind state okay so we have uh the marijuanas and things of that nature there you go the 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 psychotics and things of that nature how do you yeah where do you draw the line like how is weed good mushrooms bad or is mushrooms good too like because they grow too yeah but certain stuff you know people are afraid to do right right <laughs> it's just scary like i don't know i will stay in a certain of what i know mm -hmm. stuff like that i've known people who have done mushrooms and you know they freak out you know mm -hmm. and you don't want to you know i want to remember some of the stuff that i do <laughs> <laughs> i want to you know, i want to feel good i don't want to be paranoid i don't want to be mm -hmm. you know because some of that stuff can you know, really do some damage to you. Sure. And then the pills with the little mollies and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. You don't know what they're they are putting in that stuff. Right. So right. pills like mm -mm. some things you should just stay away from. Okay. But okay. So let me ask you guys this. So say you on the holistic side versus the modern medicine side modern medicine side excuse me say you have a life-threatening thing right. and they're saying say it's cancer stage three but a holistic doctor is telling you if you eat this turmeric and gold extract and grind it together with this 
ginger root from the mountains of I don't know. You know, they 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 have this formula for you and this will defeat the cancer. Are you going to be more apt to take that route knowing that what he's prescribing is straight natural or are you going to lean towards the doctor saying, "Hey, you need to start chemo now or in three to six months you won't be here and it'll be agonizing while you're on your way out knowing that chemo is 100 percent scientific and they're bombarding your body with nuclear therapy mm -hmm. you know that's what they're doing there's no ifs ands buts about it right. which which way are you leaning that's hard <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> I mean, I'm off for the natural stuff, mm -hmm. but um, I don't know, cause you know, my uncle and my mom, hmm. my uncle had him uh, in the, having treatments, and it was just too harsh on him. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you know, his body wasn't able to to handle all of what they were doing to him. Right. So mm -hmm. it was like, you know. I think sometimes, and then, you know, with my mom, same thing, but it wasn't as bad. But when you change, I think when you change your eating habits, right. try to um, exactly. just eat differently. You yeah, know? that incorporates eat. holistic. Holistic is not right. what you're specifically herbs. It's, it's a change of your mm. diet. It's a change yeah, of your yeah. I, I think that all plays Adding a part food, into that. That's mm -hmm. change and herbs. That's going to change in your life more. Mm -hmm. And holistic also means even. Taking yoga or something like a specific meditation type, <laughs> you know, class or, or certain exercises you, you need to do that is more uh, directed towards you physically taking active action. I didn't need to cut you. I didn't no, but I you. understand what you're saying. But that makes sense. You know, just alter some things that you're doing versus to have no keep pumping all this medicine because your body, you know, they can say, you know, they'll tell you it's very dangerous. Like you you 50 50 chance and you know, and then once you go through all that, your body is never the same. Right. So now you have to do a lot of things differently anyway. So I think once you start then if you just start changing your eating habits, I'm not saying that's gonna help, but you know, I would try to go more of a natural way. You know, I'm doing things, but I don't know. Would you That's bet your life on it? Well, you already gave me a three to six months. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> My life is all really like. But remember that that's the scientific it. doctor right, saying that. But and we've seen cases <laughs> where they have gotten it dead wrong. Yeah. Three I to mean, six months, and somebody's eight, nine, ten years later, like. Well, I think the first three months, I would try taking the little herbs and stuff like that and doing it like that and see. I mean, you know, everything. I guess it can't with. hurt if you're no, doing the, would you do both? Would you try to do both? Mm, or you lean would, towards the natural lean, first? First, I would lean towards the natural first to see yeah. if it's going to slow down my uh, the, uh, progression of it all or, um, but yeah, I would do that first. You the same way, True? So, you know, this touch personal to me too, just like you, I have three, I'm 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 the last of seven siblings. Mm -hmm. So and they and it starts from 60 69 to me 50. So you know 20 20 year difference almost with my oldest brother. I saw him die last year at 69. I mean he was a 69 this year. Then my sister she passed the same year. Yeah. She was 61. She would have been 62. My sister who was 44 when she passed back in 2003 and all was because of cancer. Some sort of sort of you know particular type of cancer. So it touches home for me personally, and um, the treatment part of it look they look more destroyed mm -hmm. than the science treat. They right. did the science right. okay. mm -hmm. Then, in my opinion, it's just my opinion, and I'm not saying yeah. you know just for for the public sake. I'm not um, preventing anyone from not taking it. Keep right. Going None of us are medical professionals. Okay. This is 100 percent our own opinion. Right. So keep that in mind. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So right. in my opinion, just from what I saw, and not just them, other people, you know, I've seen other people who, who've taken it mm -hmm. before and after, you know, um, treatments of chemo. And um, I I would I would advocate prevention is, is better than cure. You know what I mean? Prevention is 
a way to go to. Um, but it's really hard to, to for it to hit home for people who are like way past yeah. the prevention stage. Right. So like right. you're saying, I, I get what you're saying. Is it's, it's really it's a crazy situation at that point where you're gonna tell the person, oh, just take herbs and tonics and roots, and and you're gonna be cured. Like you gotta. I think in both fields, you you, you gotta get both opinions from from both um, specialists in both fields. In my opinion, okay. before you make a decision to say, oh, I'm gonna go left versus right. I'm gonna go chemo straight up, or I'm gonna go um, just herbal all day. Mm-hmm. And meditate, and see, and see if it's gonna go away. But that's almost, you know, it, it's a scary moment to tell somebody to do that. Right. If right. you're not even educated on both sides of, or knowledgeable of both ways to say these are your options. Yeah. Sir, ma'am, if you want to go this work, uh, this route, because um, somebody like you said, their body could be so so uh, uh, far gone from the chemo. Mm-hmm. That they've taken two treatments already, you know, and and, and they can't take any more. Mm-hmm. To right. tell them to say, "All right, go herbal now, 100 percent," you know, it's not gonna, it, 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 it's not gonna always yeah. correct it because now they got mm-hmm. their body's in remission mm-hmm. right. from the chemo, mm-hmm. and the cells, the good cells, have been shutting down as well as the bad cells. Right. Mm-hmm. So your, your your immune system is is supposed to kick in during those times when you go through certain. You know, uh, your antibodies have to be a certain amount. I don't know what the number is, but you have to have a certain amount to fight off diseases or fight off uh, parasites or right. foreign, um, you know, tumor tumor growths that's coming into your body. So, you know, uh, I'm always I'm always I'm always pushing for for herbal or holistic ways of treatment or not treatments, but of taking care of yourself. Mm-hmm. But if it gets to the point where your body's starting to shut down and you need a certain treatment that medically can be approved to help, I always say try all alternative methods before you go that route, personally. But if you're going to go that route, I would go to the more harsh, less harshest treatment, in my opinion. And there's other ways. I mean, uh, what do you call it? Chemo has changed over the years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's become more, um, less, uh, less dangerous, less intrusive, dangerous. but I mean, it's right. still, it's still, yeah, it's still radioactive nuclear isotopes being shot into your body to kill cancerous cells. I mean, it's, it, it, it's still rough, right? It's still rough. Right. I mean, it's still killing stuff in the body to try to get rid of stuff in the body. Right. I mean, it, it's tough. And cancer is one of those things where timing is of the essence. Right. So you don't really get a lot of time to, you know, the doctor says, hey, we got to start this or you could be gone. So you have to make a decision right then. It's not like, well, you know what? Let me try this for a little while and mull it over. Because that mull over period could be the difference of life and death. True. So you got to... Uh, <laughs> we got to get moving on things you know especially now if you catch it early enough then maybe you work both and they can work hand to hand and you know you can have some really great results um but i'm definitely with you you know right. prevention is is worth so much more than you know seeking a cure right that's why you go get checked Everything except the finger in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> and that's hold on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on, because it, it's not even on no no pause stuff we're or anything even, like that. Not, you should have said I just, pause. Yeah, it, it's not even on that because I'm not even. I just it, it's not even a hey you know that's gay and all like that. I just I, I'm as least amount of intrusive as possible. I'm just not wow. built for it. Like, I'm so horrible. I I, I I fight people if you gotta stick a needle in me. Right. I so mean, I don't like needles. Yeah, so I'm definitely not gonna like a finger in yeah. my bo- so yeah. I feel you on that one. Like it's it, it's I'm it's absolutely horrible. Mm. And then when I found out there was a non intrusive way, yeah, that's the only way I go now. All right. So it's it's wonderful now. And I made it. Because they literally it's it's just become non-intrusive maybe in the last, what, five, ten years? And I was holding out. 
Because if the doctors ever would have reported that I had prostate, then I just had a good run. And anybody who knows me knows that my You're talking about my, your PSA test, huh? The the, the 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 blood test that do the yeah the non PSA yeah yeah, yeah. okay. So anybody who knows me, my my um, my willingness to live is stronger than most. Sure. Like I tell people, if somebody ever tells you that I said do not resuscitate, shoot them in the forehead because <laughs> it didn't come from me. Right. Like, I don't give a shit. If I've been a vegetable on the table for nine months, you keep that damn machine pumping. Mm. Like, don't unplug me <laughs> no matter what. Fight the doctor. The day they come in to unplug, you go right behind them and plug that bastard back in. <laughs> like, don't unplug. Keep me going. Yeah. I don't care what you got. Get my phone charging. If you, like, keep me going. I'm not playing. Oh, I, I don't. I No. Do not let me go. Right. Like, I... Oh, I heard Jesus say that he was ready. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you did not. Right not this one. Right. That's not what you heard. Right. I want to be here as long as humanly possible. Do not. I do not. I I, I have that survival men mentality. I mm. don't want to go. So, be that as it may. Yeah. Don't 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 check me out. So I'm I'm really quick to say okay, whatever the. Whatever the, the treatment is, let's go ahead and get it knocked out. Mm. Except for that finger in the I'm mm. You talking about the digital exam? That's what they call it. <laughs> yeah, call I, it I went to the doctor too, man. I've, I've literally I've gotten the prostate exam. <laughs> I've never had it done. That's what it's called, digital the digital, digital exam. exam. I've never yeah. had it done. It's crazy. I literally avoided it. Even I have a and when you he's, when he's we leave the, he'd be like, "Yeah, you want me to do the digital?" Interview? Oh, see, you can't be excited. You can't be excited. <laughs> signed up for this, no, brother? no, no, sir, sir, bro, bro, no. calm down. <laughs> no, no. Wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? What is the digital exam? All kitty reaching for gloves yeah, and shit. No. You said too much excitement. You know what I'm saying? Reaching for me, you don't even got the gloves on yet. Like no. Bra bra. <laughs> oh my bad. I forgot the. You forgot. <laughs> like, <laughs> take your, take said, your ass. You sound too excited now, my friend. Oh, take boy. your ass. Hey. Yeah, funny. Send the lady. In. <laughs> exactly. Send the nurse. Worst okay, case scenario. Lady do it? Can, can you get that little no, Filipino wanna, lady who was out I front? I'm gonna do it at all, really. But I'm right. right. But you're rather have a female have, to do it. Right. Uh huh. Little small fingers. Go get the. <laughs> they be like, sir, what she, matter, she was the. Finger, right? <laughs> no, yes, it get... does, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you think we are? What do you think we are, man? Michelle, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done saying. with you. I don't I'm even want to play saying. with you. I'm <laughs> just saying, like, it doesn't matter what break, size break it has time. to be for it to go in. It could be like a little thin thing, like something really thin. Like I don't know. She's talking like to you. Probe? I haven't even had it done, so like listen, a little probe or a little something. Listen, I have nightmares <laughs> when I have to when I get constipated. That's how bad I don't want anything coming out of that part of me that's bigger than a you know than a pebble. Or, or like smooth. All right, you know, master fool. <laughs> Snatch the pebble. I hear you. Smooth flowing. You know, so I'm always eating. That's why I said prevention is better than cure. Right. You gotta, Amen, brother. You know, take Amen. Your coconut waters, you know what I mean? It helps with, like, me, you know, your laxative wise. And all the foods and fruits I eat that makes me go smooth. Not that. I hear you. No, okay. You don't want one of these coming out of here. <laughs> no. I have literally avoided it. <laughs> I have. Like, when, and when you leave the military, you're supposed to get your prostate right. check. Why? And. I'm, they, they, just they like make it when you get out. It's like they, because especially when you get over thirty, you know, twenty five, um, over twenty. I want to say thirty. It used to be thirty. Thirty five. They used to say once you turn thirty, then it was like, well, thirty five, you got to get it done. Right. Mm -hmm. But then when we were getting out the military, they were like, this is part of your exit exam. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why nobody else was, but I was so dead set against it. I asked the doc. I was like, hey doc, is that something I gotta have done? And he was like. No, but you should. I was like, I'm good. Oh. I'm good. He said, like, Really? You don't? And he did the snap. He did. He was like, Really? You don't? <laughs> <laughs> he did blood hit the ring. Like, Really? You don't? <laughs> I'm like, man, these guys are something else. Nope. Get excited when he went in. Nope. Yeah. 
And I literally, I dodged a bullet. And and I don't encourage that for people, but for right. me, you should go and get a check. For me, it only lasts for a minute, right? A couple of seconds. Um, yeah, they like they got to play around in it. So they're doing just, it for like at least ten seconds. Oh, see. I'm trying to play with you. <laughs> That's what I call it. They just, just want to get their little feet oh, Michelle, can I believe him? Oh, I don't, <laughs> you said you say they don't play around. He literally said I'm they played you, around. Oh, they move around the finger? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it sounds like trying the prostate is shifting. And they try to feel it. Oh, so that's how they hard. use two fingers. Yeah. And I'm like, man, this, this guy is something else. Man. It's two fingers in there? Like, are, you, are you done yet? Yeah. Oh man! You know, man, you having too much yeah. fun back there. Do you com- do you converse with them when they're when they're back there? Not in my mind, I'm like, oh, oh okay. Like, well, hey, bud, what are you doing back there? Yeah. Like, I, I don't think the, the only word I could probably get out would be uh, 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 uh. like I, I think everything would be locked up it, to the point where I couldn't even talk. It makes me flash back as a child. Remember when they used to put the no. thermometer? No, uh, the yeah. Uh, I'm like, yeah. no, I'm like, no, I don't want that. No. But it's a thin thermometer, so that shouldn't be. I I was probably a baby. They, they I just feel like I was violated. That's I'm a straight up. You you because as a normal alpha male, you're thinking you're yeah. It takes it takes like, it takes testosterone it's off like your it. levels. Nah, it, it definitely drops testosterone off your yeah, levels. Yeah, it's like it ain't like you I'm are. Not, okay. I am not. How they have you bent not, over? Huh? How they have you bent over? Like you, yeah, you bent over like you stand on the table. Put your uh, palms on the bed or whatever. And you teach like, your butt up. Do, do. <laughs> 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 I'm just asking. You said, okay, this is supposed to be highbrow. Okay, Stop just, trying to okay, bring me to the I'm level. Just, Hold not, on. I'm just asking. Wait a minute. You, know, you never done it, so I'm trying to get I, you to I, I know. Hey, but you get. Do they tell you to put your palms flat or is, is that like a natural? Oh, no, you, you want to touch your feet? You to, nah, they want you to put your, your hands on the bed. I'm just wondering if they tell you that. They be like, okay, it's time for your prostate. Drop your drawers, put your hands on the bed. Cause I be like, am I being arrested? Like, what? <laughs> no, no. Put your hands down. Uh, the visual exam is not. It's, it's, it's not something to be, you know, cherry and happy about when it when it happens. If you're not, hey. if you're not, if you're not a bisexual or you're not, you know, hey, at the risk not, of sounding gay. You know, not gay in my body. At the risk of sounding gay, when you're saying it like this, I think if I absolutely had to do it, I think I would probably want to do it on my back with my legs in there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, now we on little Pause. Pause. Pause on that one. P-A-U-S-E, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. But let's just, <laughs> from a logical standpoint, I don't know if I can stand there with not being able to see Wait. somebody and they, they so go to thrust it. So you want to have your legs It's up not in the just air. watching. I can punch if I'm facing. I can't punch somebody who's behind me. But you can squeeze your booty cheeks tight then. Oh, yeah, I'm breaking there, digits with, with, with the Kung Fu grip. I'm, I'm going to lock it down. But if somebody is behind me <laughs> oh and they just be like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can imagine because I've never had it done. Like I said, if I'm like that and then they reach back and they're about to put it in, they be like, here I come. <laughs> in my ear? Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you, now you, really go, you really go hard yeah, with it now. Like you, you want them to be all sexual with you in the back? No, I, I don't. That's I what I'd be terrified of. You're not going to be playing with your butt like that. I don't know like who just, that person is. Well, you're right. You do have something that might be into Exactly. It. Might be. Mm. And then he... That guy. I was like, you signed up for The gentleman... Tr- the gentleman truth just it. told us that they be playing in there and be... So how I know he ain't going to go in there and be like... Ooh. And then he up in there... It ain't a stroke, man. It's just... Well, okay, let me ask you. No, like, no yeah, BS. It's a little hard, you know. No BS. Air. Okay, oh, you know, the boop 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 part. So if that's boop booping, this part of the finger is right at the anus, right down here. So can your anus tell the difference between this and this? <laughs> uh, I don't think it can. Not really. Okay, so how do I know he ain't back there doing this? Well, you can tell. Well, I know. Well, get a mirror. Uh, I'm sure you know he's in there. <laughs> I, 
I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm very like, sure. It's like trying to feel and probe. That's, they're feeling and probing the, <laughs> this guy, the, the, prostate, the, the, the wall of the prostates. So they're trying to figure if it's harder, as it's swollen, if it's soft. I'm going to tell, tell you right you now, ain't nothing hard enough. down there. You don't ain't even nothing. know. You had no, I know. You... A man put his finger in my butt, ain't nothing hard. <laughs> Stop! I'm trying to stay high, bro. <laughs> hey, I, I apologize. I apologize. Oh, oh man! I apologize. Oh, yeah, how funny! Oh but, man! Yeah, you better hit that like. That like yeah, y'all hit that like, like, and, and subscribe. But ain't nothing hard, dog. Oh, no. Everything soft. Yeah, oh God! It never get hard again. But you I'm, should go and get it. I'm gonna need medication. Oh, but seriously, man, you gotta get the um at least a PSA test. If you're not gonna do the digital exam, which I don't promote, <laughs> but I, you know, I don't. If you if you ha if it has to go down that way, so be it. Just do they do they put local anesthesia down there? He, um, he, yeah, he puts uh the lemon cream. No, no, the regular cream. So you, um, I think it's like a like lube, like, like a lube, yeah. Oh, but not but nothing, nothing to know. Ain't no. like he going all the way in. They only go so far. Michelle K, hold on. First of all, what the man said they use two fingers. What? Okay. What he man you said, know got two okay, little how far fingers? Did they go in? Well, I remember, um, you know, as long as... I, he I, literally I, said I he know, had nightmares. Listen, he's... he's they're he's, behind he's you. Back. Exactly. So I don't know how far he's going, but I could feel him you know, probing the scene. You see what I'm saying? You know... But I'm on? funny because I said I wouldn't it's be on my back five, looking at him. It's like between you see what I'm mean, saying? Seven so I can look down and be like, what the hell you mirror. doing down there, I dog? Have a mirror. They got a three way mirror. Put a mirror up and you can see him coming in. <laughs> but what if he's really into it? So he's in the mirror and his forehead's down and all you see is. Mm. Uh, mm, 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 mm. That's your ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> Is every man above the age of 45 besides me at this point? Oh, you could be back there taking pictures too. Though. You know what I'm saying? Oh, come on, y'all. Really? Y'all think they're going to be doing all this? Michelle, okay. I, I done told y'all the story. I didn't tell you, hey, I don't Dr. think. Dr. John, look at what I found on the, the skies. He might say, he might, he might do it for comparison to another ass. <laughs> this is uh, oh, my God. This is funny. I'll just stop. Okay, I'm stop. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. No, nah, man, it's, it's it's not a it's not a manly thing to talk. About. I, I hate you. you. I swear, I hate it's you. really not a manly thing to talk. I about. mean, but it's like women have to get pap smears, like you know what I'm saying. And, and how do y'all get? Do y'all put your hands on the bed? And no, you have to lay on the bed with some stirrups. Which way? Yeah. Which the, way? On your back. Yeah. I mean, I think that's that's the only reason. They, the only way they can check it, they can't do it on my stomach. Why not? Because it's not there. It's I mean, unless I toot my ass up in the air. Hold on. Y'all can have babies yeah, standing going. up. Y'all can uh -huh. have babies in pools. Uh -huh. Y'all can have babies kneeling, squatted down, squatted down kneeling, right. everything. So that means a head this big can come out of there. So what you mean a doctor can't check? If you on your because standing I, up, I think the position of your body is going to be different. You can move stuff around. Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, so, yeah, so we can do that too. So like I said, if I got to, and tell a doctor I need to be on my back. Oh boy. I'll put I my legs in the air. I'll give you. You know what? It's going to be just as shocked as him going in there because <laughs> I'll be looking. I'm, has anybody ever, <laughs> just ask them everybody in the room is going to be awkward everybody because you better believe you ain't going to be back there like watch this, watch this. <laughs> no you ain't because I'm going to be looking dead in your eyes I'll be looking in your eyes like like them porn uh, chicks be looking at dudes when they be sucking I'll be I'll be, yo, I'll be like going, this why he going yeah, on stupid. in I'll be like this that's stupid <laughs> And he could be like, yo, let's just get this over with. Check. Okay, you good. Let's get out. You Will damn right. Will make cough still or that's something else? Nah. nah, that's for uh, hernia. Yeah, that's hernia stuff. Which, that's another one I think is BS. That is stick. Because I don't know how. Yeah, don't nah, know nah. They, they, they hold oh, underneath the balls. Right. That's right. Oh. That was years ago. Right? That's when you were a kid. Yeah, they don't do it when you're an adult anymore, really. Now, you don't really have to. Well, they, hold, they just kind of press and check. Yeah, because I haven't had to turn my head and cough in 20 years. Too, right? Yeah, that was the last time I had to do it. 
And I go to doctors now and I think they just fruitcakes. They like to touch balls. Because they'll do it now and they'll just be like, okay, yeah, there's nothing there. I'm like, you ain't gonna tell me a call for nothing? You just, you just groped me. <laughs> like, what the hell is that? Sexual assault. Man. What yeah. the hell? Yeah, I just office. think these doctors really want to go in here and play with child body parts. <laughs> I think a they lot just, of them. Some they, may be, but I mean, if you've been with your do. doctor for years, I had my doctor 15 years, and he was like, he knew all my stories. So I guarantee, I bet he did. <laughs> I bet he did. <laughs> but it was not like. No, no. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't, I wasn't never uncomfortable because he knew. So now if you had a new doctor, okay, yeah, you might be a little leery, but your own doctor, you will be a little, yeah. still, still not. Well, the VA, I go to the VA, so, you know, from place to place that I've been to, it's been the same people, but. Still. Yeah, great, great on that, because I ain't had the same doctor in 15 years. Like they keep, See, they keep quitting. Yeah. They keep quitting. So, well, that's but understandable. wow. Yeah, it's not really. Uh, yeah, this thing definitely. It's nothing to really write about. Would would that test be considered <laughs> holistic? Because it is a natural finger going up there. <laughs> I mean, just <laughs> not even trying to be as to be funny. I, think I mean, that's is, is that a natural? Would you consider that a natural check? No. I think that's no. A <laughs> That's, that's of the person. devil. You can, hey, that's, the, that's that devil. <laughs> <laughs> the devil's in your butt. Yeah, so, <laughs> you trying to save y'all. Yeah. So, <laughs> save y'all yeah, So you can do another exam from the outside to check the prostate. But how can you check your prostate from the outside? Because it, you're around your stomach area. Mm -hmm. If it's really tight in certain areas around your uh, bladder area. You're talking about you skinny man. What? There is oh, no man. way you can check mine. Well, well, for people like me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and just... But he bulls. There's, there's good holistic check ways to heal your prostate from external. Um, what they call it again? That's considered to be a poultice. Like you, you put something on a, a, a rag, which black strap molasses. That's what I'm about to say. Molasses. Mm. No, I did. I I just said black strap molasses. I'm sorry. Strike them from the rest. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Glasses. <laughs> no, 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 no. That does sound a bit freaky. Yeah, bro. I, yeah. Hey, okay. I, I, I was confused. Slide it down with the black yeah, strap molasses. Right, yeah. no, okay. <laughs> Like you like it, I love it, dog. Exactly. You do your what he, thing. Is that what he used? I no, promise no, no. you, I wasn't gonna question it. No, no. It was gonna ride. Whatever you said. Yup. No, no, Y'all no. heard the man. He is truth seeker. No, 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 no. no <laughs> Let's no, ride. No, no black strap. Okay. Okay. okay, what are you saying? Well, what, what did you mean to say? Black, black castor oil. Oh, oh. So, oh that's boy, that's different. not even close. <laughs> I was thinking about man. black something. Right. I, I, you know I, I, something. I bet you was. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, so the black, black castor oil. Okay. Go ahead, brother. You good. You good. <laughs> so if you, put, if you put it on a rag and put it on your, um, your stomach area mm -hmm. or your abdomen, I should say. Um, warm, warming the rag, um, or putting some in your your belly button, it, it absorbs into your into your body, mm -hmm. literally, and brings the swelling down on your prostate as a male. And even if you have cancer cells growing in your stomach or in your <coughs> stomach lining area, it says it, 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 it's. I'm not. This is not me. This is just um, from what you know. Not a, not a health uh, plan that I was. Or telling anyone, instruct anyone to do mm -hmm, this. Mm -hmm. But if you do your research, there are holistic uh, alternatives of um, people practicing this or doing this. Or okay. telling people, you know, that this is you know, something that could help bring down cancer cells in that region of your body. Who knows? You know? Okay. That's interesting. Okay. So we're going to get ready to get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you think about the subject of uh, holistic versus scientific medicine or anything that we talked about today. And as we wrap it up, I'm let you know I've been King Bear in the building. Michelle K. And this is the truth, the truth seeker. And we're going to catch y'all on the next episode of the group therapy for now. Y'all take it easy. Peace. Peace.